Hey guys, it's Craig here from VDZ Media and I'm back today with a review discussion for Hotshot Racing. This is a new arcade racer from the team at Lucky Mountain Games and Sumo Digital. It released on the 10th of September, I believe. Uh, it's out on PlayStation 4, Xbox via Xbox Game Pass, Nintendo Switch and Steam, I believe. So, like with the previous video on PES 2021, we're just going to take a quick sort of 20 minute look at the game, give you a quick insight into it while I mutter over the top of it and hopefully it'll give you a bit of an insight and show you what the game's all about. So, we're going to go into single race. Uh, you've got your stages here, each of your four locations has four different tracks, so 16 in total. Everything's available from the get-go. There is also another location coming as free DLC in the next couple of months, which will add four new tracks. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and here you can also change the game mode. You've got arcade, which is just a general race. You have cops and robbers, which I will show you after. And you also have driver explode. Uh, these are the three options. Under arcade, you've got a Grand Prix, which is, as you would assume, four separate Grand Prix, each one the four races, and you have to try and win it on whatever difficulty you want. You've also got Time Trial and you have Online which has both local and uh, online multiplayer Sorry, and a race shop where you can unlock lots of goodies. So for now we're going to go into single race, arcade mode and I quite like the Dino Dash. And here you have the eight characters. As you can see, the graphics are very stylized. They're simplistic, but I like the look of it. So, Ladies, gentlemen. Uh, Aston has been my racer of choice. I quite like his little quips that he comes out with. Uh, each racer has four cars, one that's balanced, one that is geared towards acceleration, speed and drift. I find the balanced one best but I'm gonna have to start sort of branching out and seeing if I can get better with some of the other ones because I would like to get the platinum in this game and it's hard as balls so I think I'm gonna have to up my game if I'm gonna be able to manage to pull that off. Um, You've got manual or automatic transmission, I've just been keeping it automatic. I am not the best racing game player, so best not to to tempt fate and all that. So as you can see there, load times are good, which is a plus. There is a way, I'll show you just here, but there is a way to get a really good start halfway between it going from 2 to 1 in the countdown, if you hold down accelerate, you should time it perfectly and get a good start. Watch me make a ball was over here. Now. There we go. Now, if you're in people's slipstreams as well, you can get a boost. Quite like this gate opening from Jurassic Park-esque. So, as you can see, there's a high emphasis on drifting. That builds up your boost bar, which is in the bottom right. And that really is the key to doing well in this. As you can see there, I can just shoot away. So every opportunity, like I'm keeping this drift going here, every opportunity out of the drift, you need to take it chain it as much as you can. This is the best. The game is very, in terms of the AI, very rubber banded. Uh, 
which at first really annoyed me, but it was actually a tweet from developers that sort of explained that it's almost like a feature, um, and it's, it's basically you want to use your boost at the right time. Uh, I want just like that. Uh, and also, when you do fall behind, you can go into player slipstreams, like... Let me try and get something in front of me, I'll show you. But you can get a slight boost off that as well. So you're never very far ahead of the pack. Uh, you're never very hard for it how to attack, but it's a sort of balancing act to play and I found that keeping a boost up your up your sleeve for right at the end is very, very useful. T Rex a bit annoyed that. So let this guy go in front of us. Do the slipstream here, so if I stay behind this guy, you can see there I just got a slight boost that just pushed me past him. I've been trying to get the trophy for staying in the slipstream for five consistent seconds, but it's quite difficult with the AI. Just out of that. So as you can see, we've still got pretty much two boosts up our sleeve as we come to the end of the race here. Use it now to make sure we can get ahead of this. And we comfortably, pretty comfortably, come in first place. So, in terms of graphics, fairly basic, but it's vibrant, it's colourful. I like the look of it. I don't need Forza level graphics in an arcade racer. I really don't. Um, it's more about the gameplay and I hope it comes across on a video, but the game the gameplay really delivers. It's a lot of fun. It should never be understated how much fun it is to drift. Um, I would I would genuinely put the drifting up there with, with like in Mario Kart. I think it's it's really, really good. So I'm gonna show you some cops and robbers now. This mode is hard as all hell. I'm not very good at it. Just go... Go with C view. So in this mode, you basically start the race in progress and what you're trying to do is you're trying to avoid the cops. You have a health bar. Each time the police bash you or you crash or you crash into another AI racer, you lose health. Once your health is down to zero, you explode and then all of a sudden you respawn as a police officer and then it's your job to take out the remaining racers so you're trying to be the last one standing as a normal car but if you do get converted then you have to take out the rest of the racers again we'll just go Aston what can I say I like to have it all I would say that there's, I mean, I, I should look online to see the technique, maybe, maybe holding back a bit the technique, but because of the rubber band, in this, this is when it does become a little bit of an issue in this mode, because you cannot get a distance away from the police, it's impossible. So, it's very hard to avoid taking damage. Also, each time you go to a checkpoint, you build up some money. That was not a good start. So as you can see, I've lost three health already. Yeah, I've built up a boost. So, by all rights, I should be well in my way there, but you will find that the police and other racers are very quickly on your back and ahead of you.
I do enjoy the little the little outburst the racers come out with. When you go to the jungle you'll hear Aston talking about how this is when he took his gap here and stuff like that. It's pretty good. See one of the cars there's almost done, it's on fire. One more hit and they're probably out. Ooh. Wasn't very clever. lasted longer here than I expected. This is the first time I've done this mode on this track. So there's three robbers remaining. But I am now on fire. You know, I'm over a close shave, but... And obviously at this point there's lots of cops left. Oh, now I'm a cop. So I've been converted. If I can get control of the car. I think the robbers are behind me. There's one there. Ah, I didn't get a chance to take one out. The bold mic with the win. So that's that mode. Again, it's fun. It's quite a good take on... Quite a good... Uh, like a, an, a, just a bit of a different idea for a racing, a racing mode. I quite like it. Uh, Drive and Explode is sort of similar. We'll just get into that just now. Um, let's do casino run. So in driver explode, you basically need to stay above. It's almost like speed, the game mode. You have to stay above a certain speed. Uh, if you go below it, your health will go down. You'll catch fire. You will explode. So you're trying to stay above. You're trying to stay above a certain speed. As you get further into the race, deeper into the laps, that speed that you have to maintain increases. So it gets more difficult as it goes on. So again, you start the race in progress. Not sure why in these modes you can just have a start. In this mode though, when you go through a checkpoint, you do actually regain some health, making it a little bit more forgiving than the cops and robbers mode. I have heard enough in the game that the, the levels are a little bit samey, and I guess you could could throw that accusation at it, but I think there's enough different, like you come into the casino here and, I don't know, I quite like it, I, just, I think they have been out of their way to make the levels aesthetically different. See, I went, because I went through there, that dropped my speed, which took some of my health away. Like, I don't know, I, I know it's just a, a sort of minor change to the level, but I think it's quite cool. Again, in this mode we want to keep some boosts up our sleeve. Uh, when you get to the third lap, you really want to have probably the f your full four boosts. So that you can keep a pretty crazy speed. You kind of notice there the second you go off the track. In this one, your speed drops to a dangerous level. So you have to be very careful with your drifting and power sliding. I do have to apologise for these review discussions sometimes. My intention, obviously, is to fill you in as much as possible with the game, but when you're going at 200 mile an hour in a race, it's sometimes quite difficult to talk concisely, especially as it gets quite frantic here. I'm 
and win the race. See, I should be able to chain that into two separate drifts. Push again. We should win the race. Oh dear. Burst, burst, burst. A bit of a balls of that. We could do with one more burst. Just to see us home. And we got it. Perfect. So with each one as well, whether it be in arcade mode and Grand Prix you get money for your position and that money can be spent on different outfits for the racers, modifications to the car. The modifications to the car are all, are all just uh, cosmetic. None of these actually going to show you. Uh, Hello, ladies. So we can go in here, so say this car here, we can go in and modify it. And it's all, like I say, it's all just sort of aesthetic changes, but... I mean, once you get your favourite car, you can pimp it out however you like, so that's always good. Um, it's obviously a design choice as well, not being able to upgrade the cars, they they want you to sort of choose whether you want a balanced or one that's built specifically for one of these three areas and then hold on yeah one that's built for a certain way if you if you think <laughs> to be honest the more I, I think about it I, I want to try and get good I think the drifting one is the one to go for, but I'm not good enough at the drifting. Like, you basically, the whole game is built around drifting. The more drift you get, the more boost you get, and that's how you're, you're winning. So I think that's the one that, if you really want to try and plan in this game, that's what you're going to have to do. But I just... I'm going to show you before I... I was going to just end the stream here, but before I do... I'm going to show you what expert mode's like. Like I say, if, when you play, see if you play a normal, the game is very rubber banded. You will not get far ahead, you will not be left far behind. If you go into expert mode, you will one mistake and you will be left in the dust. So I'll give you an insight into how hard this is. The first race obviously being the easiest of this the lot. Just fast. I have managed to get first once or twice in this race, but it all goes completely tits up in the next one. I've not managed to win one of the Grand Prix yet, unfortunately, and the fact that no one has platinumed the game yet makes me feel a bit better that it's not just me being shit. So we're using the slipstream here. You'll notice as well that Mario Kart style, you're going faster. It's like 150 cc or whatever, which makes the drifting obviously a lot more difficult. Just get a trophy for something else. That. See, that's enough to probably sink me for the whole race as these guys just power away. And if it wasn't, then that probably is. We'll keep going through the here just to kind of show you. Like I say, this is the first race, so it only gets more difficult after here. Yeah. Oh dear. See, and the, 
with, on normal mode, I can take that corner really, really well. But at this speed, it just becomes a lot more difficult. Now, granted, I'm not very good at racing games, so I would have completely accepted that it's maybe not that hard if it had a few if a few people had managed to flat them. But the fact that no one has yet makes me suggest that it might actually be pretty difficult. Let's try and take this turn right this time. Oh. Sixth place. Yeah, so that's pretty grim. Not a good outing. But it gives you an idea of how the difficulty spikes. So like I say, that's a basic insight into the game. I haven't showed you Grand Prix mode, which I guess is just arcade, uh, except you're going for trophies. Uh, time trial, it's pretty cool actually, you can play... There's no point in me actually showing, but if you look here, you've got a staff ghost for each track, and let me tell you, the staff are pretty good at it. Um, here's my my personal best, and that's 41 seconds. I'm a full 6 seconds off Nick. Um, you can also download times off the internet to beat, so you don't have to necessarily beat what, what you would guess is probably some pretty spectacular scores from the devs. Um, you can do it via that. There's online. Uh, I, I, I'm not. A, I'm not really up for online play. I did try it out, but it's just not for me. Some people love it, but I just I prefer to play play offline. I did play some split screen with my missus, and she really likes it as well. It works surprisingly well. You can play up to four player split split screen. We've only played two, but I have watched some videos, and apparently the four player seems to to run surprisingly well. Um, it's quite rare that you see four player split, split screen in this day and age, but that runs well as well. There's not really many negatives to this, to be honest. It's it's a really really good game. I don't often stick with racing games. Uh, I've reviewed quite a few, and even if I like them, usually once the review is done, I'll be lucky if I pick it up once or twice again. It's just it's not my preferred genre of games, but this is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. It really reminds me of Ridge Racer, which I loved back in PlayStation 1. It just, it's got that feel to it. I love the power sliding, drifting. It's, it's really fun to play. It's something you can just stick on for 10 minutes before you go to bed or before you head out. It's, it's a great pick up and play game and I really do recommend it. It's a great price. It's only $15.99 on PlayStation. I believe it's the same price on PC and Switch. Although don't quote me on that because of the Switch tax that sometimes inserts itself into games. As far as Xbox, it's on Game Pass. So if you have Xbox, you can basically try this game for free. So there's absolutely no reason not to check this game out. It's shown you here that you've also got a cockpit mode if you want to use that camera angle, which I know a lot of people do. I personally cannot stand that camera angle. It's one of my most hated things in gaming. I just I can't stand it. I don't understand how anyone can drive like that. Uh, I need to see the whole car, but that's by the by. Um, obviously, most people, when they're uh, checking out this video review, they will have read the review as well, so you can see what I said probably more succinctly uh, during the, the written portion of this review. I really like it. It's a great game. It's worth checking out. Support the developer. Uh, they're bringing, as I said earlier, they're bringing free, more free content to the game at a later date which is really cool. It's something they could charge for, but they're not. And I want to see more games like this. I want to see a sequel to this. I want to see what they could do uh, with a follow-up. So I really recommend checking out this game if you have the means to do so. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been the Hotshot Racing review discussion. 
if you are watching this on YouTube, I urge you to go to vdzdmedia.net and check out our full review, along with reviews of lots of other recent games, and we have a backlog over the last two years, we've been running for two and a half years now, uh, please check out the content, uh, views are spiking an awful lot as they tend to do this time of year, and we really appreciate all the support, and that's pretty much it, thanks for watching guys. Cheers. Bye.